Hello everyone, this is I Am Unicron, here today to do a review of the newly released Transformers MP10B, the Black Convoy, the Nemesis version of uh, Optimus Prime here of the MP10 mode. Um, just want to do a kind of a quick review, some of the comparison of them. Uh, start off with the box here. The box is, is pretty big. You know, it's a masterpiece box, of course. It's going to be hard for me to get everything in a shot because I film all of my videos on my iPhone 4S. And let me just do a little pan here. And if anyone has an iPhone 4S or any iPhone, then you know whenever you turn a video camera on, it kind of zooms in on you a little bit so it makes it a little hard to film with <coughs> but, yeah and then with this with the box being so big as it is here it makes it a little bit hard to, to film um, no, sorry about that <coughs> excuse me <coughs> anyway um, this is Katatomi's is the Nemesis version of the MP10 mode. Um, I just want to say that. Well, also, if you notice, I got gloves on. Normally, I don't wear gloves. Um, but the reason I'm wearing gloves is I opened this thing up earlier and I handled him a little bit. And he's a shiny black. And he tends to leave fingerprints really fast. So, and that's the only reason why I'm wearing gloves. Because I don't want to have to keep cleaning and cleaning and cleaning him because I will um, put him on display you know but my display is a sealed glass cabinet so he won't be getting any dust on him and so he'll be fine um, do as he comes back at here in the box in robot mode and I'll just pull him out real quick set the box off to the side here let me scoot him back in his packaging so you can see and he comes, he comes with his instructions and he also has um, his car that they all come with the masterpiece transformer as we all know um, MP10B and of course everything is in Japanese, which I haven't taken the time to learn Japanese yet, so I really can't tell you what it says. But one day in the future when I learn Japanese, hopefully I will be able to come back and translate it for you. But I seriously doubt that's going to happen. And now what I really like is, is the book's a little bit different than some of the other ones. Um, it's neat. It has a really good drawn version of him on the cover here and on the back it shows uh, starting off in the years of like the Lyo Convoy and Bit Convoy and all the black versions of Nemesis Prime here I guess are the, the black convoy versions over the years in the years they were released and um, just pretty cool that's from the first MP 2004 Again, 2007 was the e hobby one. Uh, really neat. Uh, pretty cool stuff here. Really, 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 really cool here. On the manual. Uh, okay, oh, let me focus this. Okay, let me get this guy out of here because he is just. I mean, oh my goodness, this guy. I know he's expensive. Um. I hesitated buying mine from TF Source. I was looking at it and I was like, man, I want to get them. $159, free shipping, of course. You, know, you order over $150. Bucks. Um, it's free shipping. And I was like, man, I don't know if I want to get them or not. I might just wait. Um, and he sold out, I think, within a day or two on TF Source. So I didn't have any choice but to. 
Hey, no, I don't mind. It cost me, it's a small fault. It cost me actually 10 bucks to buy him um, at BBTS, which he's a great figure. Um, 10 bucks ain't going to kill you either way. It's not a make or break on, on the figure. If you're willing to spend 159 on a the figure, then the way I look at it is you're willing to spend another 10 bucks to ship him. Because he, he's worth it, you know. Um, he comes with the same gun as um, as MP10 comes with. Um, I have the TRU version of MP10. He has the axe and this little deep kind of like blood red color here. Really cool. Um, and of course he has the the dead matrix of leadership. And really heavy. This thing's made out of die cast. And I don't know if anyone has pulled out their matrix out of their other one, out of MP10. I have the Hasbro version of the matrix, and they're both really nice. I gotta say, this this dead matrix looks pretty freaking awesome. I mean, it's really cool. Uh, put those on the side. Of course, same little fold up gun. Um, let's get to Mr. Nemesis himself. Let me slide him back a little bit so we can get him in full frame here. And I hope my camera really picks it up because this guy in person, I mean, man, he is just beautiful. The colors on him, he's just really bright, um, real shiny. I won't say bright, but really shiny colors. I mean, he's just just beautiful figure. Um, I know in the pictures he looks good, but usually pictures look better than what they do in reality. But in this case, um... Man, he is just a, a really, really stunning figure to look at. Um, and I love how he actually has the Decepticon symbol on his shoulder, whereas the original, the other version of the mold didn't. Uh, the original MP, what was it, 4 that had it, or 3, I don't remember, didn't have it on there. It was, uh, let me see if I can, I don't remember which version it was. But anyway, they they both even they both had the Autobot symbol because it was molded into it. But this guy here, it's flat. It's not molded. It's actually a tamper graph. It's a paint app. But man, let me just show you this thing. This guy is just freaking beautiful. I mean, it it's the paint on him. You see how shiny that is and reflective. And I don't know if it's painted or if it's actually the the plastic. But god dang, that thing is just freaking beautiful, man. It has a foot deep shine on it, you know, like like you're looking at a real vehicle here. Like a real paint app. Um I'll show you a little bit of a difference where it's it's on its hand in here. I know it's a little hard to see. Um man, I wish I had a little bit better lighting here. Let me try to scoop my whole camera system back. Let's see here if I can get it. Um but anyway, uh, man, he is just freaking beautiful. Uh, the only thing, there is a difference in paint. And I know it's the camera's not really picking up, but on his hand, this is kind of like a different shade of black. His thumb and the rest of it is one shade, and then his fingers here are a different shade. Same thing with his legs. Um, his lower legs are a little bit different shade of black, a little bit dull. It's not real shiny. I don't think it's paint like they use on the top. I think the actual top part of this thing is actually painted over the actual plastic. Because man, it feels slick like paint. It feels metal. And I know it's not metal because MP10, none of these parts are metal. So it has to be paint up on there. Um, man, it is just freaking beautiful the way this thing looks. Um, and I'm not going to transform him. I'm sure some of y'all probably have the TRU version of this mold. He transforms the same way. Um, I'm just going to take my TRU version and put him next to him real quick. That way you can kind of see. And man, these guys look really, really good together. And uh, the reason I say that is because the TRU version of the mold is a shiny version. has brighter colors than what the MP10 version has. And I got to say, man, they look they look really stunning next to each other they're, they're both just look really good together and here we have 
Let me scoot him back a little bit so you can see him a little bit better here. And there we go. And yes, now, now we have both of them um, standing next to each other. And actually, he actually outshines the Hasbro version. And the Hasbro version is just a beautiful toy in its own right. And this guy looks better. Um, with them standing next to each other, he's just a really, really stunning figure. And one thing I got to say for sure um, is his joints on the MP10B tend to be tighter and stiffer than what they are on the Hasbro version of my MP. Um, why is that? I don't know. Um, I've never transformed my Hasbro version. Um, I just got him, put him on display, and that's where he's been ever since. But the joints on the MP10B are tighter than what they are on the Hasbro version of the Optimus Prime. And why that would be, I have no clue, but it is what it is. And what I'm talking about is the leg joints um, tend to be tighter. The little swivel here on the leg and the feet. I didn't have to tight. See, the feet on his is is really loose. And you see how his legs are kind of just a little easy to, to move and manipulate. And everything on 10B is just super tight. I mean, it is just a fantastic transformer. The only complaint I have is is the eyes. He has the doll eyes um, like MP10 had. Um, the original MP10 not the TRU version. Um, the TRU version has painted eyes and the MP10 didn't. And he has red eyes which you can see if, if the light hits it the right way he does have which you can't tell. They just look dull in here but he does have um, red eyes but the the problem is there's no light pipe oh man look at that paint job that is just freaking beautiful isn't it wow how shiny that bad boy is I gotta say I'm just really impressed I, I know he's expensive but god dang once you have him in hand this is a repaint that is worth buying um, hands down he is worth it uh, the only, well, there's two major complaints I have. One is the eyes, and the other is the chest panel right here. The, would be my right side, the, right here. It's a little bit lower than the other one. It's got kind of a little gap in the middle here. Um, but, uh, my uh, TRU version is kind of similar. But, anyway, there you have it, man. These two guys are just beautiful. If you can afford it, buy it. I know what's hurting him now is um, he came out so close to Fort Max, and a lot of people spent money on Fort Max. And to me, I'm a G1 fan. Fort Max is cool. But when I was growing up, I never saw season, what was it, four, the Transformer. So I never saw Fort Max. I never even heard of him until I was in college. So it wasn't really like a G1 toy I always wanted. For me, I'd rather purchase these guys all day long. I mean, granted, I'd love to have a Fort Max, but my money's a little bit more well spent on, on this guy. Um, anyway, I'm rambling on here. This is starting to become a really, really long video. But he is, he's freaking beautiful. So um, the best thing I can tell you to do is just go ahead and buy him. Don't think about it. Don't waste your money. Just go ahead and, and get him. He's worth he's worth the price. And like I said, I got him at BB um, Big Bat Toy Store. Um, matter of fact, my here's my price here, one sixty nine with shipping. It's it's worth it. Go ahead, buy the damn thing. You know, if you got the money, you can afford it. You're thinking about getting something else. Um, he, he's a must-have. They just look fantastic together. The only thing I can hope is soon they come out with Ultra Magnus of this mold with the trailer. 
so we can make the whole city commando where the trailer transforms onto him and have him with the set. That would be just freaking killer if they would make that. I got my fingers crossed, wishing and hoping. Um, anyway, um, this video's gotten really long. Thanks for your time. Any questions, comments, um, please feel free to ask. Thank you.